today i am going to discuss about uh, generics okay generics in c sharp dot net so before going to discuss about generics in c sharp dot net before going to discuss about generics in c sharp dot net first of all we have to discuss about function overloading okay we know that function overloading means providing new implementation to a function with same name with a different signature this is called function overloading in general function can be overload in two situations first situation is when data types of arguments are changed next situation is when number of arguments are changed in these two situation function can be overload so when data types of arguments are changed function can be overload i am telling for example let us consider this is the function and it is having two values int a and int b to call this function we need to pass the values 10 and 20 but if we pass the values like 10.5 and 20 then we should overload a function with what float a and int b already we discussed this okay here this is one function this function is having two values a and b these are integer type so we have supplied integer values it's very clear next whenever you supplied float value and integer value then again this function is not suitable because here two integers are there but we are passing what one float and one integer again we have to add one more function here function is overloading or not so function is already some work to do again if we assign some other work to same function to deal with what one float and one integer so then it will be overload so always function overloading is not in good practice okay so that is what to avoid function overloading when data types of arguments are changed to avoid function overloading when data types of arguments are changed then we use generics okay so generics are used to avoid function overloading when data types of arguments are changed okay so generics are used to avoid function overloading when data types of arguments are changed okay right so generics are general data types generics are what general data types generics are introduced from dotnet framework 2.0 okay generics are introduced from dotnet framework 2.0 onwards okay generics are introduced from dotnet framework 2.0 and generics are general data types so generics are present in this namespace like system dot generics dot collection or else i can say system dot collections dot generics generics are present in system dot collections of generic namespace and main purpose of generics are used to avoid function overloading when data types of arguments are changed and generics using generics we can write generic functions and we can write generic classes also using generics we can write generic functions and we can write generic classes also okay so generics are general data types generics are introduced from dotnet framework 2.0 onwards so once the generics are there we can easily avoid function overloading when data types of arguments are changed so generics are present in what system dot collections dot generic namespace and using generics we will write generic function and generic classes also right so to work with generics compulsory we use two things one thing is placeholder placeholder represented by placeholder represented by this is the placeholder angular brackets next type parameter type parameter okay these two things compulsory we should use whenever you want to work with generics one is placeholder represented by this and type parameter this is type parameter and most important thing is always type parameter should be enclosed within the 
place holder only so here type parameter always type parameter should be enclosed within the place holder here it is okay for example let us consider public public wide display method display method and this display method is having what string value okay string value whenever you wanted to call this display method we have to call the method like this display of string is there no so that's what here string value we have to pass but whenever you wanted to pass display of 10 this display method is not called because it is a string again we need to overload function or not so again we need to take public wide display integer public wide display double so each and every time when data types of arguments are changed again we need to overload a function we need to extra function how to add so if we have generics then you need not to overload a function how it is for example let us consider this is generic function okay generic function compulsory how to use generic type parameter display of g g is a generic type parameter after that g and s s is a value and g is a type parameter value then if we have this display of this then how do we call you can simply you can see this here after display in parameter in placeholder what was their g g means any type of data type g means any type of data type any type of data type it is general data types you can give integer or you can give string you can give float you can give double any values you can give so it is a general data type so not only g you can give any value we can give parameter this display of string type i am giving in place of g what i am taking string so you can pass string value here okay and display of integer type then integer type next what i am going to do display of double type double type then 10.5 clearly we have string type integer type double type but in place of what g so if you have generic type then you need not to overload a function so only one function is there but multiple different data types of values we are calling or not yes it is possible so this is called generics we'll see practical implementation of generics how to work with the generic function and how to work with generic class also we'll see practical implementation both kind of things okay uh, uh, with programmatic representation of generics so let's that's what i'm going to create what here generic just class name i'm giving cls generic cls generic generics are general data type generics are introduced from dotnet framework 2.0 generics are uh, to avoid func uh, function overloading when data types of arguments are changed generics are present in system dot collections dot generic namespace and using generic we will write generic functions and generic classes okay right now but if you want to work with generics compulsory we should use two things one is type parameter and next one is placeholder represented by angular brackets that is cls generic here now what i'm going to take here i'm going to take the method static void let me take static void display display now it is uh, what it is generic function i am going to make i am going to show with a programmatic representation with generic function it is generic function g i am taking this and after that g is a generic name then s is a parameter value then open close now you can see console dot right line value of s is plus s this is generic then whatever next uh, i'm going to uh, call this function you can see static void main now here static void main string square bracket r within the same class i want to call this function within the same class okay so this is generic function i'm taking right so we need to create an object to uh, sorry we need to call this function how do we call this function you can see so display of display of after display you are looking g so that is what type g integer type then you can see integer type value is what 10 then whenever i'm going to call display of display of then what type it is string so string value is what hello anything you can pass then after that you can see display of then double value i'm going to take now double value is what right then to stay back to our screen console dot what read here 
console dot read now so it is very simple so display is a function it is a generic function i have make with what type parameter it is uh, enclosed with placeholder only then here so we have in place of g any type of parameter values we can pass data types you can see this string data type integer data type double data type when i am going to execute you can see there is no overloading function no extra function function is only one but we are passing different type of values because of generic here so let's change the startup object and uh, you can say cls generic i'm taking and click on save it and run it you will be able to see that what values value of s is 10 value of s is hello and value of s is 20.45 one is integer one is string one is float value it's very clear okay right next uh, this is what program for generic function only program for generic function let me give program for generic class how do we make a class as generic okay same thing right let's click it project and uh, add class i'm going to create a class called cls generic one cls generic one dot cs now here i'm taking what uh, public method i will take public void same function i'm taking display of display of here I am making a class as generic. You can see G here. Okay. Not only G, anything you can take in place of G. Now this time class I am making generic. But here in previously what I have done, only method I am making it as generic. This is G. But here I am taking what? Class as generic. Public wide display and G, G and value is S. Then open delimiter, close delimiter and console dot right line and uh, value of s is plus s okay it's very simple but i am going to uh, access this generic function into outside the class so that's what i am going to give that creating new class class cls generic 2 it is class cls generic 2 open and close now you can see so what is that uh, display function is there that uh, function is present in what class cls generic class so that's what we need to create object for what class cls generic one first of all cls generic one but you can see whenever i'm going to take cls generic one after generic one it is showing what placeholder or not that placeholder place what g in place of g generic that is generic parameter so any type of data type you can mention that is so cls generic one then i'm going to take what string type then obj1 equal to new cls generic one then same thing cls generic one then i'm taking what type here it is integer type i'm taking then obj2 equal to new cls generic one so next cls generic one then that is a double type i'm taking so you can see double type let me take double type then obj3 equal to new cls generic one then finally what i'm doing obj1 what value you have to supply okay obj1 dot display method obj1 dot what display method what value that is one is related to what string value string type you have to do that okay for example string is welcome i'm taking okay welcome then obj1 or 2 dot display of now this time what two object is related to what integer type so integer type 34 or anything and obj dot display of what type i'm taking here it's double type so for example like this you can then to stay back to our screen console dot what read here okay right it's very simple generic generic uh, example so in the previous class what we discussed a function is generic this display function is what generic but now this time what i am making a class is generic you can see using generics we can write generic functions and generic classes already we have seen generic function and now i am making with what a class as generic now this is having function display function and i am going to access this display function into outside the class so that's what i am creating object for what class cls generic one but while creating object for cls generic one then immediately we have to specify that what type of data type you are mentioning here now you can see string integer double after that using object one we are calling what function display function which is 
present in what CLS generic one so through object one we are calling and after that we are supplying the value string value and integer value and double value so now we can see when I am going to execute now this time generic class is going to be executed you can see CLS generic two when we click on save it and run the application same result will be get here value of s is welcome value of s is 34 value of s is 45.67 okay it's very simple and let's check out here now so we can able to pass multiple data types of values also but you can see how it is possible here g1 and here i'm going to take one more g2 here also g1 comma g2 these are what uh, two parameters now you can see two values I'm generic values are two g1 and g2 and here it is g1 s1 comma g2 s2 these are value but how do we display the values now you can see values are you can see s1 it is actually we will make that values of s1 and s2 are values of s1 and s2 are you know that uh, this is verbatim literal 0 and 1 and close it and s1 comma s2 okay these are the values it's clear so now we can see multiple data types we have given multiple values g1 and j2 is generic values and g1 and gen g2 is generic names generic name g1 s1 and s2 is a values values of s1 and s2 are like that but you should supply multiple data types i can see string here it is there only one it is expected something string comma integer i am giving for example you can do that also different different data types string comma integer here and here i am taking what integer comma double i am taking integer comma double now you can see integer comma double here double double type i am taking let's do that double now here double comma string let me take here different values double and string I am taking then whenever you do that you have to supply the values also like this according to your object creation if we have created object one for string and int here class CLS generic one okay so that's what string is already is there exist and integer is 23 and object two 34 integer is there and uh, 56.7 is a double value then object three 45.67 is double and string is there like high so this is the way to call multiple data type values also values of s1 and s2 are one string one integer values of s1 and s2 are one integer one float values of s1 and s2 are one float value double value one string value it's very clear here okay so this is very simple here now click on save it and run it same thing we will get here as it is okay so this is what what generics we can say so generics are used to avoid function overloading when data types of arguments are changed so using generics we will write generic functions and generic classes okay generic functions and generic classes so if you use generics you can clearly avoid the function overloading function overloading means what providing new implementation to a function with same name with different signature is known as function overloading but when we uh, change every time data types of arguments every time function can be overload so every time function overloading is not good practice so that's what we use what generics generics are introduced from dotnet framework 2.0 using generics we will uh, write generic functions and generic classes then generics uh, uh, if you want to work with generics we use two things one is placeholder and type parameter and type parameter should be enclosed within the placeholder only then generics are uh, uh, present in particular namespace called using system dot collection start generic namespace okay using system dot collection start generic namespace okay let me check out here right click on it and uh, go to organize usings uh, let me drop this remove unused using cell all are gone here system is there because system is a main namespace it is having some generics namespace internally okay so this is very simple code we discuss about generics here